Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's been a couple of weeks since I last posted. I've been doing trade shows and stuff. So let's do a catch up video on the aeroponic carrots, potatoes, and the strawberries that we've got going downstairs as well. So let's look at the strawberries first. Yeah, they're doing really well. There's a few other leaves that I need to trim off, but we've been picking strawberries pretty much every day and they're doing really, really nicely. These are June bearing strawberries, but I've just picked up some ever bearing strawberries as well. So I'm gonna add some sections into those. On to the carrots. Now, initially all the foliage fell over, but it's all started to pick up on its own. As you can see, we've actually got some carrots forming inside. So that's really exciting. That's gonna come on pretty quick, I imagine, from now on. The Aero potatoes flowering wonderfully. For those that don't know, yes, potatoes do flower. This is how they look when they do. The actual growth is pretty much comparable to the soil ones next to it, but there's a lot more potato plants in those soil containers there. So, so let's go into the roots of the potatoes. There's no tubers forming yet, but I imagine we're gonna see some of those start happening pretty soon. Foliage up top looks good. Root structure looks really, really nice. And it will be interesting to compare the results of standard soil grown and aero potatoes. For those that don't know, you can absolutely grow aeroponic potatoes. It's just, I think the problem at the moment, as it's not a very common thing or most people have never heard of it being done, is the tubers aren't as big as some of the soil grown ones. That's something that we're gonna see evidence of or not, as the case may be, when we come round to the tubers being formed. I, I imagine within the next few weeks we'll start to see some of those tubers forming on the root structure, so that'd be quite interesting. But we got a while yet before those plants come to term so let's look at what we're going to do moving forward next week i'm going to do a video on hydroponic feeds which is the best in my opinion for the growing method that you're using when you need to start looking at multi-part feeds and whether you should be using liquid or powder feeds as well this is quite a deep subject and depending on how you're growing that can dictate which one you buy so let's get back into it thanks very much for watching this quick update video i will see you next week when we do feed